Well, COVID fatigue is real for everyone, but the reality is COVID is spreading at high rates in our community right now. So we have Dr. Shannon Lynn from U of L Health to talk about the latest tips and advice that you can apply to keep yourself and your family safe. Thanks so much for coming in today, Dr. Glad Lynn. Glad to be here. Good to have you. Okay, well, many people are tired of the mask and with so much misinformation out there, a lot of people don't believe they really need it. Mm -hmm. What are you telling patients about masks right now? My um over and over again, I tell patients, do not get COVID from strangers. It is best to wear a mask when you're in public spaces, in crowded spaces. The example I use, if you're in a uh, department store and it's empty, you're probably okay. If you're at TJ Maxx standing in that long line, mm -hmm. you need a mask on. <laughs> um, but save your maskless moments for friends and family. Very relatable example there, mm -hmm. okay. Um, next, we wanna talk about vaccines. Who should be getting vaccinated? Who should be getting the booster? Who's even eligible right now? Everyone should be vaccinated. And so um, and it's a very important, especially in the 60 and up crowd. Um, well, technically the 50 and up crowd, but uh, to get the fourth shot, if they're eligible, if it's been um, six months from your last, and uh, to go ahead and get that booster. Um, and in exciting news, we, we should have a variant vaccine in the fall that will also be very helpful because it'll wow. be more specific to the virus that's circulating now. Something to watch out Absolutely. for. Absolutely. Okay, finally, um, let's talk about, talk about this Paxlovid, the mm -hmm. antiviral used to fight COVID infections. Mm -hmm. Who should be taking this medication and, and where do you find it? So anybody with risk factors for severe disease, and that includes anybody with heart disease, anybody age greater than 65, even people with depression, anxiety, or a higher risk for long COVID um, or serious complications with COVID um, than other folks. So. Oh. Um, Paxlovid is uh, a great antiviral in that it decreases the risk of severe disease 90% even in those who are unvaccinated. The problem is they're not giving it necessarily at our urgent care centers and our ICCs because there is a little bit of nuance to prescribing it. We need to know your renal function and we also need to check for interactions with other medications. Sometimes those have to be adjusted. Not all of the urgent cares and ICCs feel comfortable doing that. So the backup is you need to call your primary care doctor to see if you are a candidate for Paxlovid. It's best given in the first two to five days. Some people say zero to five, but we're learning it's probably best around two to five days. But you need to know it's there because some of our local um, uh, urgent care little clinics type of thing are just saying to treat the symptoms. Paxlovid can really make a difference. So contact your primary care doctor um, to get the treatment that you might need. So even if you get that diagnosis at an urgent care, call primary exactly. care to get it. Okay. Exactly. Great advice, such an Thanks. important topic. I know people, like you said, you don't wanna talk about COVID right now, but we have to. We have to, it's back. Protect Dr. yourself. Lynn, thank you so much. Good to, to see you again this week. <laughs> okay. Hopefully we have better news next week for Hope everybody. So.